All right, so we are almost done with our header. So we got a few more things and then we'll be done. Now I wanna go ahead and show you this. So you know, uh, generally speaking, you have a alarms and events and you also have something along the lines of status connection. So I wanna show you the status connection real quick because often people don't realize that they have this feature. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and just do a simple text, right? So we'll do a simple text and then we'll come up here and what we'll do is we'll make this kind of bigger and then we'll call this uh we'll call this uh communication communication link down and then we'll make this nice and bold and we'll make it about 14. again we'll change our four color so that it comes in here and then we're going to call that now in the efforts of what we're doing, we're gonna keep it like just like this. Come over here and we're gonna have this pop up just right here. Actually, let's keep it up top. And let's keep it in the center right now. Yeah, let's keep it in the center right now so that we can, we'll, we'll know, right? So the communication link is down and then what we're going to do is we're going to do an animation. So we're going to get an animation. We're going to go to visible, visibility, and then we go to visibility. We go to tags, and then in tags, I want to show you this. A lot of people don't know this, but when you go, you're going to come over here. You're going to go into our data server. Okay, so our data server is over here. This is exactly what we basically built the you know application communication off of uh, when we built our factory talk links. Now we want to come over here and scroll down to batching. And again, you can refresh tags if you want. Um, but again, all that's going to do is refresh tags and make sure you have everything. Uh, um, what you're doing is you want to go to diagnostic items. Okay. You're going to click those. You're going to come over here and you're going to say is present. So all we're doing is getting the is present. And this is a read function. This is a read only function. This is derived from your actual enterprise, your RS links enterprise. So this is a connection status. This is a tag that will allow you to monitor that your communication shortcut in your application is valid. It is working. It is communicating. It is there. So this is the reason for this. So we're going to say, if it is valid, we're going to say it's good. If it's not valid, we're going to say it's invisible. Or if it is valid, we're going to say it's invisible. And if it's not valid, we'll obviously say it's it's visible. So in this case, if we run it, it's not going to be there because we actually have a connection. Now, again, if I pull the connection, we won't have a connection. So I will pull the connection to the actual device now it does take a little bit to actually stop communicating to the actual device because again it's like this is more like a three second I, I believe it's somewhere like a three second command or something like that um, and that all depends on to uh, how I let's see come in here and yeah this should be coming in there we go so the the link status see it did indicate that the link dropped now I'll plug the communication back in so that it actually drop picks up communication again. And that is communicating again. Let's see, make sure that it is talking. It does take a second to reestablish communication. As soon as it picks back up communication, the link status up here will go away. So this will give you that indication. Now, I wanted to show you that because again, we're using animation. So in animation, I want to also add another feature here as an expression and actually add the blink feature. So I'll say and right here, logically and, and then I want to use the blink feature. So this would be systems and then we'll call a slow blink. And then we'll, I'll always check the syntax, right? So always check the syntax and then apply. So then if it happens again, now it will blink and we'll be good. So this right here, so this is actually indicating, oh, I know why that's happening. So we wanna do this. We wanna say, and it is blinking. So actually we need to change this syntax. We need to change this to an expression 
and then an expression to say if this is present and or if this is a present if this is present and the blink status is on and then one else zero okay so that this is basically enabling so all we're saying is basically if you think about this as an, in a rung of ladder logic one would have to be on and this is basically a serial or a series connection right so you would have one on and then when the other one cuts on it will actually indicate it will give it a status of a binary status of one else it will be zero we check syntax again that's good now in this case we want to change it to visible actually no we'll keep it invisible let's see that should work come over here still given that indication so that what do we have wrong here so not to take this video uh, too long but let's see if the, it is present Okay, so if it is present, okay, let's do this. Instead of the and, we want to have the expression. So then, so what we'll do then this else zero. All right, so we want to have that there. So we'll have this, we'll basically say if this tag is on if this status link is down then we want to blink else zero let's see if that does the trick and see if we have this correct it is still blinking so let's see what are we doing wrong here if the status then oh, okay all right so we want to say that we actually have it backwards I'm sorry so we want to say zero else so we want to actually have the syntax this is the, the sort of confusing part and the, the reason why you test syntax is because you want to have it so uh, done right so if the tag is good then we want to have zero because we're using the negative state and then else then we want to use the blink state it is valid come over here and let's test this again so that's good that's giving that's giving the opposite state so and that's what we want so we actually need to inverse this now and make it visible because we actually did we're, we're controlling it with the syntax now so this would give the same effect let me pull the connection to show you okay so I did pull the connection now if you look at the bottom of the screen down here you'll see that when it drops it will then come to a status of not connected again this does take up to three to five seconds so please bear with the connection it really depends on how fast your communication is I am communicating through a VM so uh, it does take a little bit of time. So now we've just dropped connection and now it shows link down. We're gonna reestablish communication. I just plugged it back in. It's reestablishing communication and it does show that the link is back up now. Okay, so that's good. That's tested, we'll call that good. Now, um, in the sake of what we did, we're going to head, let's go ahead and conclude this video. I'm gonna do one more video on the header and we'll finish out the video. We'll finish out the header, but I wanna add a alarms and events summary, but I definitely do not want to actually take these videos too long. So we wanna make these short, sweet, to the point. So again, when it comes down to it, that's how you do a status link, right? So again, come down to it, that's how you would do the, uh, at, the at present, right? At is present. Basically, this is looking at the communications path. If you looked at the communication setup right here, this would be monitoring this communication path, exact communication path. That is exactly what we did. That is the, the reason why we did that is to make sure 
that is, is done properly. So when we did this, now this would give an indication to the operator that the link is down. Also a maintenance technician or an, an engineer for that matter, so that they can work on the problem. Now you would also see a lot of gray screens or a lot of, uh, you know, things wireframed and stuff of that nature, but this is important to keep on the header. So this is something that you can keep to monitor and know that dead set without any question, there is a link down, right? There, the communication is down. Now, if you have multiple communication setups, again, you can set that up with a syntax that says this, if this is done, this is done, if, you know, monitor this shortcut, this shortcut, and this shortcut, you know, so you can keep and changing the syntax. And what we did here, right, we said, if this is, is good, if the connection is good, then we want to have a zero. We want to change the binary state of the bit we're monitoring, zero else we want to make it blink slowly really 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 simple and in your case if you had multiple connections you could say if this and this and this and this right so this is basically showing you exactly what you should do so with all that said we'll see you guys on the very next video and we'll continue on and finish our header